Today on Boogie in the Food, we're taking one of these and turning it into some of these. Stick around. I am not a professional chef, nor do I claim to be. I'm just a guy who loves to eat. The yellow squash, a highly unlikely ingredient for tortillas, which are the perfect vehicle for taco deliciousness. Now, when it comes to the ketogenic diet or the low carb, high fat diet, there are a couple different options for tortillas. You can go the store bought route and get the low carb tortillas, depending on how strict you are with your diet. Or there are several zucchini tortilla recipes out there, but I thought once cooked down, the squash would resemble the corn tortilla the most. So what you're going to want to do is clean off that squash and grate it up as far as you can go without hurting yourself and grating your fingers. Because no one wants tortillas with finger particles all up in them. Pretty much there we have it. A nice pile of grated squash like I said in my previous video for the cauliflower crust pizza uh, vegetables are pretty much filled with water so your goal right now is to squeeze as much water out as possible so we're gonna load up either a kitchen towel tea towel or a cheesecloth as you see right here just gonna grab some of this I'm trying to get all these stragglers put it into this cheesecloth now I'm not anywhere near my sink, so I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it into a bowl. And like I said in that pizza crust video, you're gonna wanna squeeze until you can't squeeze no more. When you think you're done squeezing, you probably have a couple more minutes of squeezing left. Now once you're done though, you're gonna wanna go ahead and transfer it to another bowl, like you'll see in just a few short moments, and start adding in your ingredients. What I like to do, this is the optional step, but I take about a tablespoon of coconut flour because I feel as though it helps dry out the squash a little bit. And then I'm gonna start adding in my seasonings. At this point, you're gonna wanna just season the taste, whatever you feel as though is gonna be best for your tortillas. I'm gonna put salt, pepper, I like flavor God, spicy everything, some cumin and some of this, some of that, maybe some garlic powder, onion powder. Uh, here I'm going to add about a cup or so of low moisture mozzarella as well as one egg. And just get in there, get your hands in there, mix it up, be one with the process, or get a spatula, whatever you feel is right. Just know that this mixture is going to be a little slimier than what you might be used to, but that's just the way it is. So now go ahead and preheat your oven to about 325, 350 Fahrenheit and get a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper and start to pretty much just build your tortillas. You're going to want to make them thin, as thin as you want. Now, like I said, they will be slimy, but the low moisture mozzarella and the egg do great job as a binder and the mozzarella helps with the pliability of the tortilla. So stick them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe flip them about halfway through. You're going to end up with these beautiful, delicious tortillas here. Look at that. They look just like corn tortillas, except they're going to be a little more delicious because we added herbs and spices and whatnots. Now, being that I'm from Texas, we like to eat breakfast tacos all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load one up here. So I'm going to take some fluffy scrambled eggs, as you'll see here. I'm also going to take some extra sharp New York cheddar right here. Look at that. And then top it off with a crispy slice of bacon. Mm. Yeah, bacon. Let me go ahead and examine that real quick for you. Yeah, that looks pretty legit. Go ahead and take a bite, buddy. Yeah. Think about it for a second. Ponder. Now tell us, what's the verdict? Oh, it's good. 